you ever see someone and everything just stops mattering? It's like time and space just stops and all you see is them. And you can picture it perfectly. But at one point or another, you have to start moving your legs and going. And then you're soaring. For a brief second, you're gliding. You're weightless. And you forget that if you fall, you're going to fall hard. Hey, Romeo, what's with you? What's that supposed to mean? You know what it means. How long have I known you? What, like 12 years? You have that look on you. Like you found a really old book or postcard with scratchy handwriting on it that nobody can read. Not even yourself. Hey, I like hard to read postcards. There's a story. You just have to like, I don't know, search hard to find it. Exactly, what's got you so fluffed up? You know, I feel like it's really hard to explain the color white. You could say it's pure or simple or even boring. But there's an emotion behind it that no one's ever been able to pinpoint. And I honestly feel like that emotion. How am I supposed to explain happiness? Simple terms, please, Nietzsche. Okay, so there's this girl, right? Right. She's more than just a girl. She's like some kind of out of this world spirit. You're not religious. I know that. But is this how religious people feel? Like those ladies that do like the shakes on the stage? Or, or like those babies, those creepy ass babies that sway back and forth. It's a church music on the internet. Well, are you okay with all this happening? Come here. What are you doing? Checking your temperature. I want what you want. Stop, I'm being for real. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I think it's good that you're feeling these things. It shows that you're actually are. I think I really like her. Her hands are so soft. It's like, I feel like it weird. Not you and your playlists. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like sometimes I meet someone, and before we even speak, I can imagine them. There's the first date. I can see her across from me, smiling. Cheeks red from a joke I said. Well, first I'd have to spend a couple of hours at home practicing jokes. Maybe scrap the jokes. She'd probably find them dorky anyways. The first day would always be awkward, but we'd talk. I'd find out she also loves Wes Anderson films and has a soft spot for cats. Maybe in the future when we live together, we'd get three cats, or two, maybe just one. And we'd argue about the name. I'd want to name her Blanche because she's obviously the best golden girl, but she'd want Dorothy. She always liked Dorothy better. I can't say I blame her. She'd always offer to get coffee and forget my order, but I always remembered how she liked hers. No cream and sugar. Except her idea of sugar was practically half of a cup until it was drowning in sugar. I always liked tea better. We'd explore the city and things would start to have meaning. Buildings I passed every day would suddenly seem alive. Anything and everything would be magical with her there. We'd go to the record store and every single album about love seemed to be about her. She could find us in songs, mostly when we danced at night. In my head, it's always raining. The two of us together, swaying to the beat of the song. Flowers freshly in a vase that I'd gotten her today. Except I couldn't decide what to get her. So I came to her door with three different kinds. She said it was excessive, but she still agreed to go on another date. We'd walk hand in hand, and she'd tell me odd little facts she knew. She loved to memorize them. Did you know that otters hold the hands when they sleep? <laughs> and so they don't float away from each other. Isn't that so cute? That's so cute. <laughs> and then they have like these pockets or pouches on their bodies, and it's so they can save their favorite rocks. Isn't that cool? That's adorable. I couldn't really skip rocks. I just tossed them in and they brushed the surface before sinking down. 
I wasn't patient enough to see them delicately dance across the water. But she'd be good. She'd perfectly skip it on the first time and try to teach me to do the same. Even if I didn't get it, she'd assure me it'd work the next time that I just... It's just, it's like, it's like a switch. Just... A switch? Yeah, just a switch. Or we could thrift shop, pick out outfits for each other, and she'd laugh at every obscure outfit she picked out for me. But I wouldn't mind, because her laugh is the cutest thing. When she laughs, it's like her whole body is laughing. We'd go searching for books, and she'd pull out every book of poems she could find. She'd buy as many as she could and take them home. Highlighting, tabbing, editing the papers with marks. Permanent marks of our love. That's what she's doing. Wow, you're in this pretty deep. I don't think I can pull you out right away. <laughs> yeah. You have to sink on a trampoline before you pop back up again and see the world around you clearly. <laughs> we'll write an ode to each other. There are just so many odes out there that are so outdated. I mean, I can only read so much of her sparkling eyes or how magical kissing is before I get sick. They're <laughs> in love. But yeah, everyone is, or they think they are, until they aren't, and those poems still exist out there. And I just, I don't want to read old men writing about the girl they like anymore. I mean, maybe you're reading the wrong one. You could always, like, write them yourself, you know? Well, it's just that I wouldn't put love like, like that. <laughs> then how would you put it? Well, I don't know. I mean, I don't really... I've seen you right. Come on, it's just me. younger and you have a favorite crayon and you have your 24 pack but you only use that crayon to scribble what you're making and you use it up until it snaps or becomes a little stub. I swear I met her in a dream because she's unreal. It almost makes me forget the way some people look at us when we're together. I've never been in love but I think if I was this is how I'd say it. Have you ever fallen in love? Every day.